Hey guys, today we will be starting a new project, an e-commerce system, and in this video we are going to learn how to convert this design to HTML and CSS. I just grabbed this one from an existing e-commerce site, and as, as you can see it's just a photo. So first is we're going to create let's create the HTML file let's call it homepage.html and in this project so let's just set the title to e-commerce uh, we'll be using bootstrap so let's just link the style the bootstrap styles and also the JavaScript bootstrap CDN so here let's go to the basics so we can use this the grid system so first is let's add the container class and then here um, let's just just um, put the sections that we are going to include in our home page so some of these won't be included so some sections in this site or design won't be included in our HTML so this one will include that one and then also this section and then the daily discover and then lastly is the footer so let's work first on the header or the top navigation let's add the row class and then um, let's do md5 column md5 and then here we can start with the palo on statement or section so here I just grab this font awesome so you can search for font awesome to include these icons on the side then here we can have another column for the notification So let's just group this one inside the span and then inside is an href and then above is the text next here is we'll be grouping the notification section we also have the help then we have the sign up and then the login so let's remove fresh so let's search for the info so let's use question circle then here let's put this one inside a new class page header and then let's add a new row for the next section so we have the logo and then the next column will have the search input so let's group it into the search input id and then here let's add the input element so sign up 100%. then here we'll have the uh the search icon so next thing is let's add the last one last column which is the card icon so let's put it in an edge wrap and then let's add the icon which is the card 
so it's a shopping cart so as you can see there's the cart icon now it looks good so let's create a style.css and start adding style so let's link it in our HTML header so first thing is let's open the style.css and then style the fetch header so let's add the background so now this background should take up the entire width of the page so what we do is we can convert this one to container fluid and then to remove the padding we're going to add our custom style inside the container fluid class or maybe you can add an ID and then remove the padding so we refresh it is now removed also the margin so however the content should be centered so what I'm going to do is let's just remove the fluid and then also the main container we're going to make it a separate or a parent div so here let's add the main or the header container and then here let's update the style as you can see the content are now centered so next thing is let's add a margin or the padding for the page header and then here Let's grab that one and update the padding. So this looks good. So now for our text, let's set the font weight to bold and color is white. And the font size to 10px. So let's see 14. And then also for the icons, same thing, font size and set let's add a margin in between the icons so let's register those style so to follow us icons let's grab and paste and then also let's add that class to our html and then here let's add the style for follow us text Press as you can see it looks good next thing that you do is this notifications section so let's add the align right so all of this would be aligned to right and then here we can add this class let's paste that one and then also the text and you share the same properties so this one the href fresh so the top header a as you can see here we have I mean the styles are reflected on our right column so let's remove the text decoration set to none then our html file let's have let's add the follow us icon class now let's make the sign up and log it set to bold then here we can adjust the margin or let's add the border and then the color on the this one so let's add the class and copy and paste the style 
this looks good now um, let's add the margin between the sign up so 25px margin lift fresh um, so here we need to set important so now let's add the padding or a margin of the main or the top navigation add a margin what on 15px and now let's start writing the or updating the search icon or search bar let's set the font size to 19 and let's set the height and then the border set to none and let's create our, our other the own border and the color would be gray so we let's set it 100 percent and let's remove the outline so let's copy that one face and then here let's add an id let's move it first as you can see it's a nice looking search bar so next is this the padding or let's tell the search icon so let's set the width and the height and then make it square and line to center and then the font size of this one and then also the color would be red or maybe white and then the background is set to orange we'll just copy this one and then let's add the class to our icon then move that one let's refresh so here we need to position our main to or this one to absolute and then set the right to 7px top to 0px so let's update the radius of the icon also height and the width so maybe you'll use this one let's paste and then also this one so actually let's refresh and then the search I got scan uh, search input so let's position relative so here we need to move to the search input element fresh doesn't work um, search input let's see here so this one should be search so as you can see it is now positioned properly so now let's add the line center so this will align the card icon let's add the font size change the color then also that's it for the icon let's add a class here and then copy it to our style sheet fresh so it looks good now for the logo um, I have created this test logo so let's create an images folder and then here let's link that to our HTML file using the image uh, attribute fresh it should be white logo so refresh and here we can 
style let's set the width to 71 percent or yeah 71 percent and then the height can have a fixed height um, that one so let's update or add the margin for the search input should be centered or aligned bird in the middle so let's add the style and add the class for our logo and then here um, let's copy and paste so this is now looking good so for our card let's add the margin uh, display to and on black so it will reflect and then let's add this to the shopping cart icon so now this is looking good uh, let's see what else we can add so let's remove that or decrease the margin then here the font size of the top knob let's decrease the font size now let's add more section to our top knob so the left column so we have the seller central or center and then let's also add the start selling link and then we have the download link so let's style add a style to this let's set the display to inline black inline black and then the text decoration let's remove that one so let's add a padding to the right so it acts as a space between the links let's add a border and then let's just update the color of the border uh, Now on, and then here we can add a class. Let's grab that one and insert in our CSS file. Let's copy, fresh. As you can see, it is now looking good. And then here for our top header, let's just update the color then let's add a margin to the left or a padding to the left so then let's just copy and then paste fresh now it's looking good already 